today I'm going to introduce you to three animals that I work with every single day, and that's one of them. So they're grey nurse sharks, their names are Ralph, Mary Lou and Napoleon, and they're actually critically endangered on the east coast of Australia. So the great thing is that they live here at Splash in the Aquarium, and people all over the world can come and learn about why they're endangered and what they can do to help. One of the best parts of my job is diving in this tank and hand feeding these sharks. It's pretty thrilling and I was pretty nervous the first time I did it to be honest, but it's a lot of fun and it really gets you close and interacting with these animals. So let's take a look. It takes a lot of training to be a shark feeder. I need to know the behaviour, personality and mood of each shark. And we only feed them on our terms. So here I want Mary Lou to approach at around chest height and she's only going to get the fish from straight in front of me. We don't feed to the side because their jaws can strike much further side to side than they can straight in front. They have a varied diet of fish like mullet, trevally and bonito and they only eat fish that they can fit in their mouth whole. Their teeth are sharp but not serrated so they can't bite chunks out of larger prey. They swim slowly because they are mid-water ambush predators. They sneak up on a school of fish by not acting aggressive and lulling them into a false sense of security before they snap. You can see why this is my favourite part of the job. These sharks are critically endangered, but there is a success story named Murdoch who lives at a sanctuary in Manly. So I'm here at Manly Sea Life Sanctuary with my old boss Rob. We worked together for a number of years and Murdoch here is pretty special. Can you tell us why? Yeah, so Murdoch was born in captivity here at Manly Sea Life Sanctuary, um, which is obviously a great story uh, for any critically endangered animal uh, that's kept uh, in captivity. We, we really want to promote breeding um, for a number of reasons, so it's really good. Um, and he's also one of only a few that have ever been born in captivity anywhere in the world. I know that seeing them in this kind of environment is really pretty awe-inspiring for people that don't get under the waves, especially me on my first day here is actually when Murdoch was born. So I thought that was incredible, but you having worked with them for so long, how special was that day? It, it is really special because uh, it, even though we have had successes like Murdoch, um, they are very rare and probably for every one successful birth we have there are a number um, that don't quite go to plan. And so to have uh, an animal born full term, looking nice and strong and healthy, um, you know, it was really a great day for us. Uh, well guys, stay tuned for a future episode because you are going to get a first person view of Rob and I on a rescue to dehawk a shark at Magic Point in Maroubra. So we'll probably wear some GoPros or something so you can see exactly what we see when we're out there. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more updates. See you soon.